Next we are coming to the street lights. I told you, I gave you that example. Providing street lights is an example, is a major responsibility of municipality or municipal corporation. Roads and infrastructure maintenance in a city as the number of traffic is the amount of traffic is more number of cars, vehicles and heavy vehicles. They are moving from one part to another part of the city. It is responsibility of the municipality to provide a good infrastructure, good road system if needed, some bridges, if needed, some flyovers, wherever it is needed. Now, who is taking decision that what type of work municipality is going to do? It is the councillor. Whenever we know that, we know that the councillor, he is elected person. So, he is representing the common people. He is uh, most of the time is ad advised by a group of common people of his work, sometimes in a meeting or sometimes personally also they meet and they suggest they uh, put their problem in front of the councillor from where councillor decide that what type of development work that needed to be done in done in a um, particular world. So, uh, this councillor is decide, he decides on the particular issue and his administrative staffs who are there even in municipality or municipal corporation, they decide, they now start working on that and whatever the decision taken by this councillor, they are responsible to implement them in their practical life. What are the sources of money? How this uh, municipality or municipal corporation, they are getting money. If you remember in your previous chapter, we also discussed the same thing. And we have seen that major portion of the income, sources of income, major source of income for panchayat also was tax. Here it is definitely tax and property tax. 20 to 30 percent of their income that uh, municipality is getting from the property tax. Uh, property tax is something that they can ask from the property holder in different forms. It's a property, a property holder definitely is giving the tax. Even other than that, he is paying tax for water, whatever the base amenities they are using, they are, we have to pay taxes for them to get uh, uninterrupted supply for that particular community. So, commodity. So, whatever you are using, it is water, it is electricity. If even for your education also, education says or tax, we need to, the common people, we have to pay tax for that. Because with those money only, municipality is able to run a school, municipality is able to run a hospital, municipality is able to develop roads. And uh, in that way, a municipality is working. It's is paying money to its administrative staffs also and use that money for development of that particular uh, city. There was, uh, it is a continuous agitation against uh, the municipality that is about garbage collection. Many cities, many a time that experience that the garbage is uh, dumping in a place because many of the uh, cities never provide a closed garbage bin also outside. So, most of the time it is open and even we people, common people, we are not that aware of the, we are not that conscious about the natural protection, natural environment and we throw garbage on the road. And if the garbage is not cleaning regularly, because uh, many a times even we experience that the collection staff, they are not happy with their administration and they, uh, they may uh, went for a strike or a protest and that protest yields another protest from the common people that the garbage is not cleaning up every day and which caused a severe disaster in the social system, even spreading many dangerous diseases in the society, in the particular world or the particular community. Municipal, uh, during um, the municipal, sometimes they join their hands together, uh, two or three municipalities or some municipalities 
uh, or municipal corporations they join their hands together to decide something and whatever they decide we uh, that they implement everywhere like now in india i told you the garbage collection system from the uh, common people from the residential apartments and all even from the hospitals and all that is fixed and government is the municipality itself is providing us the recycle bins the dust bins well, that uh, we need to segregate the garbages and we need to send it outside we need to give them every day they are sending people to collect garbages to ensure that people are not throwing that open on the road what will happen if we throw the dustbins like this if there is no municipal corporation and if we throw dustbins like this on the road in surat there was a uh, in 1994 there was a massive attack of plague the major reason was surat was not cleaned for many days and the garbage is dumped here and there and that actually told many life because plague spread it everywhere in the city and it was very tough for the health service system there to control that widespread disease. Fortunately, after that Surat learned a lesson and due to the proper attention of the municipal corporation, now Surat can claim itself as the second cleanest city in India. Apart from Chandigarh, Chandigarh is in the first place, second cleanest city in India is Surat. So we can see from this example that without municipal corporation, without a body who is taking care of everything that we need, that is municipal corporation, it is not possible to leave even, forget about all other things. We need everything from municipality, whatever our requirement. The, it is the major machinery we can say for the state government to run huge cities, big cities like uh, Hyderabad or like Pune or Bangalore, big cities like this. If they want to run them smoothly, they need a municipal corporation system functioning properly. Without their function, state government cannot guarantee anything, cannot even ask, cannot even think about any improvement in the particular area. Thank you. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.